Hey everybody, it's Jack and Dan. And today, we're making no cheat chili cheese tots. Wow. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up this oven. We use a convection oven pretty much for everything because we like the fact that it has the air movement, cooks things a little faster, and it makes the tots super awesome and extra crunchy. And the next thing you're gonna need is a stone. Yeah, we really like to use stones when we cook stuff because again, they're kind of like porous and the air kind of moves through them and again, makes your tots super awesome and extra crunchy. We use Trader Joe's tots because we love them. Yeah, they are fantastic. So we're gonna put about half that bag right here on this stone. And we're just gonna kind of spread them around real good. Okay, we're gonna space them out just like that. So they're gonna cook nice and even. Pop them in the oven. Just wanna be careful that your tots don't roll off your stone. They do make stones that have sides and stuff, but since we have a pizza stone, we're just using that. Took about half that bag, put it on here. Gonna put it right in the middle. Shelf there. Got the convection going. 400 degrees, about 20 minutes or so. All right, you want them to be nice and crispy and golden brown. We almost like to kind of blacken ours a little tiny bit. Look at these guys, woo! Whoa, right in the face. Only about 15, 20 minutes. Look at those bad boys. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, now what we're gonna do here is take a couple of big knives or something like this, and we're just gonna kinda, kinda push them together, make a little bit more of like a pile instead of spreading them out like that. We just did that to kind of cook them. We're gonna make a pile. That one's going flying. All right, now we got a cool little mountain of tots there. What kind of chili are we using, man? Amy's low sodium vegan chili. Yes, this stuff's amazing. This is about, eh, you can find it for about two or three bucks a can. Uh, we get a case at a time at Costco and it ends up only being like a buck 50 a can when you buy a case at a time, really, really awesome. When Amy says low sodium, she means it. Look at this, 500 milligrams in the whole can. Isn't that amazing? Yes. It's almost unbelievable. A lot of things say that they're low sodium, but they're really not, are they? No. No. All right, I'm going to pop the top off, give it a little stir. Yeah, look at that. All right, we got the old pull tab. That was easy. Now we're going to mix it up because we're going to take it out of the can and pour it right on top of these guys. So just give it a little stir there with a big old spoon. There you go. All right, pour it right on top of these guys, man. Just kind of kind of start in the middle and make a little tower there. Just kind of pour right on top. Look at that. Now guys, we have given this chili to people who are not plant-based and they could not believe that it was not real. It's that good. Look at that. All right, awesome. Now we're gonna get the cheese. All right, here's what we're using for cheese. Now normally, quite honestly, Jack and I would be perfectly happy with just eating that the way that it is. But it's been one of those crazy busy Saturdays, we're running around doing all this stuff. We said, hey, let's have a special treat today. They do make a lot of different vegan cheeses. When we first started eating plant-based, we were trying to kind of get away from cheese, we tried Daya and we hated it, didn't we, kiddo? Yes, yeah, kind of, it was gross. Oh, it was gross. But they started, it was basically made from like almond milk. Uh, what they did is they started adding some chickpea flour and which gave it a little bit more body and then they started adding a little bit of coconut oil but you got to remember when you start putting coconut oil in things it's going to have a little saturated fat no cholesterol but it's going to have a little saturated fat so a quarter cup's got two and a half grams still not a tremendous amount seeing as nothing else here has any saturated fat in it but you don't want to overdo it just because something's vegan like this you can't just you know chow down the whole thing and think it's okay so we're going to take we're gonna sprinkle this on top. This will melt. It's not gonna melt as much as regular cheese, but it is gonna melt a little bit. We're just gonna put a little bit on top and just kind of spread it around. We're gonna take this whole thing. Look at that, man. So that's, even if that's like a half a cup, which I don't even think it is a half a cup, that would only be five grams of saturated fat split between both of us. It's really not that much. You can have about 10 grams a day without really affecting your LDLs at all. So that would only be a fourth right there. So, throw on my gloves. We're gonna take this, we're gonna put it right back in here. We're gonna just leave the oven right on 400, leave it on the convection setting there. And basically, we're just gonna pop that in there for about another five or six minutes. 
And what that's going to do is that's going to warm that chili up, crisp those tots up even just a little bit more, melt that cheese a little bit. Now you could get some, you know, plant-based sour cream if you wanted to make this plant-based and really go over the edge. Again, it's probably going to be made from coconut oil and it's going to add more saturated fat. We're not huge fans of sour cream and never really were anyway, so we're not going to bother. So in about five minutes, we'll be right back. We're going to take a look at how this looks. All right, about five, six minutes later, going to open it up. Just enough time to melt the cheese a little bit and warm up that chili. Look at that, buddy. How does that look? That yeah, looks very good. Dude, how amazing is that? We are going to smash that. Woo! All plant-based, baby. We're going to let that cool just for one second. We're going to sit down over here, smash it. Oh! You got to use your fork, Dad. It's hot. Wow. So how you digging it? It's good. All right, we're gonna get down in here, get a nice chili covered cheese tot. Oh my goodness. This is amazing, guys. It just takes a few minutes to heat up the uh, chili. Now she does make mild versions, she does make spicy versions, she does make low sodiums of pretty much everything that she has. Amy's does soups, uh, lentils, beans, all kind of meals. Not everything that she has is, is plant-based or vegan. Uh, some things are vegetarian. Some things have animal products. It just depends. Um, but check her out. We'll put a link in the description of Amy's website. Uh, honestly, wonderful company. Does lots of really, really healthy options. We, uh, we love a lot of her products, and we've shared them before. How you liking this, kiddo? It's very good. Mm. The only thing you want to be careful of when you're eating off the uh, the thing like this, stone. yeah, you don't burn yourself because it stays hot for a long time. So guys, you know, the reason we like to make videos like this is we like to let people know you can have kind of like a cheat meal once in a while and still have it be relatively healthy. From a sodium standpoint, this doesn't even come close to our daily intake, um, especially because we're splitting it, still a good amount of food. We're getting a ton of protein, a ton of fiber, we are getting a little bit of saturated fat, zero cholesterol. Really, really, really awesome. So we're going to smash this. We will see you guys next time. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell for future notifications, right? Yes. And we'll see you next time. You guys have an awesome Wellness Wednesday. Bye. Dude, this is incredible. <laughs> yes, it is. You want a tot, huh? Yes, you do. Here, you can have a tot. Good girls get tots. Good girl. Good girl, Ace.